right, Sagittarius, welcome to your April bonus reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Sagittarius, we are going to take a look at the energies around you at this time for this bonus reading. We're going to take a little look at love, what's going on in your life, and then messages, guidance, advice from the universe, from spirit, whatever you need to know, and then we'll clarify all those energies with the tarot. So my goal with this is if something in your monthlies didn't resonate for you maybe something here will so not everything here may resonate for you so please keep that in mind only take what resonates throw away the rest um this is for sun moon rising venus and jupiter male or female watching could be past present or future energies could be um interchangeable energies if you feel like it's not you but somebody around you also could be affecting you so it could be that energy also so please do keep please, please do keep that in mind um, some of you may need to communicate something to somebody. I'm getting very tongue-tied. Um, and we're going to get started. So welcome, Sagittarius. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone is staying uh, safe and healthy at this time. So everything you need to know about me, Sagittarius, personal readings, a lot of stuff down below in the description box. Please do go check that out. And uh, if you're new and you like how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you'll get about five readings a month. So, you know, tap into the energy here by subscribing and uh, see if the readings resonate for you. And if you do, thank you. All right, Sagittarius. At this time for this bonus reading, what are the messages most needed? The Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. At this time for the collective. This is a general collective reading, not a personal reading. Please keep that in mind also. Let's take a look into love for Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, that's too many. All right, I guess that one. What is going on here? So we have Our Lady of New Vision, and we have 16, which is 7. So 7 is about uh, spirit, spirituality, uh, faith. It's a very divine uh, number and energy. Somebody may be having a new vision here on a divine connection. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom. Our Lady of the Sacred Hearth, number one. Wow, one is about new beginnings. Having a new beginning with a new vision. So somebody may be seven, divine, having new vision with a divine connection here for a new beginning. Sacred Hearth is sort of like that uh, foundation, that basis. Um, it's like, you, you know, your security. It's like home. It's like your sacred hearth. It's like the sacred space, sacred place for you. So there may be somebody here you see as a sacred new vision and a sacred connection here. Like this person feel, may feel like home to you or may feel uh, make you feel very secure and grounded in some way, like a safe haven, a safe, secure uh, place. Wow. Okay, so we'll see what's going on with that in a minute. We're going to clarify all these energies later with the tarot. All right, so what's going on in Sagittarius' life right now? The Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for this general collective reading, this bonus reading. The Sagittarius at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm being guided to take that one. Usually I shuffle a little bit more, but it stayed on the table. So let's see what we have. We have self-expression. Vocalization, individuality, inner voice, assertiveness, 32 here, which is five. So it's about change. So something needs to change and you may need to express something to someone or in a situation or something like that. Your individual uh, opinion or how you're feeling, trusting your inner voice also, being assertive and communicating. And expressing yourself. Okay, let's see what that's about. Let's see what's on the bottom. We have love, kindness, benevolence, sharing, and receiving. 24, which is 6. 6 is a very healing, balancing energy here. So we got 5, 6, 7. Wow. So, and I see the dog too as like a companion, loyalty kind of energy also. Very loving, loyal energy. So, and it says sharing and receiving. So to me, that's like giving and taking. Six is about healing and balance. So sharing and receiving is like that give and take and equal balance. So 
I see very loyal, loyal energy, whether it's you or someone you're dealing with. And it may have to do with the situation over here where you need to express maybe love to somebody here. Um, have an equal exchange, equal give and take. Um, I see kindness all around this because we have the heart chakra and the throat chakra with the blue and green. So that is about communication and is about love. Obviously, it says it right there. Wow. Oh, Sag, what's going on? All right. So let's get messages for you with this deck from the universe. Messages, guidance, advice from the universe, from spirits. At this time, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, card, stop sticking. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For Sagittarius, thank you. From Spirit, the Universe, guidance, advice, messages. For Sagittarius, at this time, for the collective, thank you so much. What does Sagittarius need to know? What's their advice, guidance, messages? Spirit, thank you so much at this time. All right, take. Taking the top one here. Let's see. We have wake up call. Hello, wake up. <laughs> wake up, Sag. We got a wake up call here about something. Hello, ringy dingy ding. And then we have reevaluate your priorities. So you need to reevaluate something here, your priorities. Maybe having a wake up call and reevaluating your priorities, whatever that may be for you. So it could be anything, it could be work, career, finances. Uh, your friends, your family, um, your love life, however that means for you. All right, so let's let's clarify. Let's clarify the Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Clarifying for Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius at this time? Love life advice, bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's going on with the sacred hearth and new vision and love? Sagittarius at this time for this bonus reading. We got love here in there. Because this section um, is about love. But then your love, love is coming up again over here. So what do we have? The Hierophant. So this could be about a commitment, marriage, uh, leveling something up to the next level. Commitment. Uh, faith, religion, structure, value, morals, um, learning, institutional things such as um, education, um, the government law, all that kind of institutional stuff. So what else do we have here? Queen of Cups energy. So it's a very loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy, male or female. Five of Cups, so feeling sadness, loneliness, um, hurt in some way, loss, lost love. Oh, what's going on here? All right, let's get a few more. Let's get a few more. Sagittarius. Ooh, toxic energy with the devil. Yikes. Could be addictions, obsessions, negative thinking, um, Fear, anxiety, stress, worry, just or it could be a, just a very lustful, passionate connection with someone. All right, what else? What else for Sagittarius? What is the sacred heart and new vision for for Sagittarius? Well, we got your energy, the wheel of fortune. So fate, destiny, and the sirens going off. Kind of like a confirmation for me. Anyway, we have the Wheel of Fortune, your energy. So fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. Um, what's coming for you is coming. All right, so what else for Sagittarius? What is this about? Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is the message I got. So this is an energy, Seven of Swords, is sneaking away or getting away from a situation, person, place, or thing here. Just need to get out, get away from the energy. So I feel like here, there could have been toxic energy because the Hierophant can talk about marriage or commitments or relationships. Could have been with a water sign because we do have the Queen of Cups there, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, where it, maybe it was very loving at one time, but then it turned toxic. So now it's like a loss. There's a loss of that situation. It was the Five of Cups, you know, feeling sad, loss, hurt energy. Maybe regret or remorse over something here. 
but I feel like you're just kind of like walking away from the situation here. Like, yeah, I'm just done. Because I know what's divinely guided for me will come in for me in the future. This is the Wheel of Fortune. That's your energy. So you could be having a new vision here on just life in general, life and love in general. And just knowing it's like your eyes are closed. It's kind of like meditating or whatever, or just knowing, trusting your intuition that you know, I have a new vision now on life and love in general and what's coming for me will come for me, which will be my sacred space, my place, what feels like home, new beginning coming. Wow. So seven again there with the spiritual energy, like uh, spiritual path. So some of you may be waiting here, waiting for something to come in so you could take action here towards something, someone, moving forward in love, three pentacles, working together, teamwork, collaboration, could have been someone you worked with, but seven of wands being a little defensive and on God right now, but here is a prosperous new beginning based on a firm foundation, there's that sacred hearth, something very um, secure, grounded, um, it's safe, it's practical, it's for the long term, there's growth, abundance, and there's the promise of a new beginning for uh, probably for a lifetime here. So you could be, you know, right now not saying anything because he or she is covering their mouth. But, you know, knowing in divine timing here because you're waiting, it's with the three of wands energy waiting. Maybe, you know, as you're getting out of something here for the future, knowing what's divinely guided for you and then offering something here or someone offering to you that prosperous new beginning kind of energy. Yeah, truth and clarity here with the King of Swords, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, standing up, not backing down, um, kind of energy, having clarity, becoming single with the Nine of Pentacles, single, secure, stable on your own, ha on your own two feet, wanting to reunite with somebody, but not yet because there's two cards in this deck and this is black and white and one is in color. So it's like um, an image in your mind, like kind of like um, daydreamy kind of energy like imagining reuniting, coming back together with somebody here. Um, Nine of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you're not stressed or worried or have fear on it anymore. I think you're just waiting because you know this will lead to your Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home in every single way. So, wow, <laughs> a lot of energy there. So I feel like you're having a new vision, like you transformed. Um, you know, the Hierophant too is about that faith, spirituality, faith, hope, optimism divine energy so i feel like you're having like a new vision on life now and love and you know this divinely guided sacred energy is coming in for you in the future whoever whoever that may be for you or you just know okay someday i know i'm gonna make, meet my person that's meant for me will be my sacred space sacred sacred space place energy that i call home all right, so let's see. What is this love and self-expression about? Well, we've got the Ten of Cups again, Sag. Wow. But we have the Four of Swords. So you could be just healing, healing, thinking, contemplating, uh, rejuvenating right now, meditating, praying, uh, in retreat mode, just concentrating on yourself. It's like thinking about this Ten of Cups, which is about fulfillment and love in every single way. The Emperor. So taking lead, control, charge of you, your energy, your life. Divine Masculine or Feminine Energy, Emperor, Empress. Divine Energy here. So what else for Sag? Strength. So we have Leo Energy here. So, you know, having your inner strength, confidence, willpower, determination, taming the beast from within, um, endurance, determination, infinity. So you could have had many lives with whoever you're thinking of right here with the four swords thinking, thinking of taking charge and lead to expressing love to this 10 of cups. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because we have the infinity, which can mean lives, you know, have many lives with this person. This is a connection that goes, you know, on for infinity. 
here. Very strong, strong connection between you and somebody else. What else here? Justice. So could be dealing something with in the Justice Department. Legalities. Or this is bringing truth clarity as with self-expression, which will bring balance into a connection or situation here or in your life in some way. And Nine of Cups. Nines are about also solo energy. But leading to your wish fulfillment, your happiness, and your joy. So I feel like, of course, we're all in isolation right now. The Four of Swords energy is about being in isolation. But while you're in isolation, doing a little lot of thinking, uh, contemplating, healing, that's healing too, uh, rejuvenating, resting, all that energy to better yourself. So you could take lead, control, and charge gaining your strength and confidence to bring justice into a situation because you get the nine and ten of cups so you go from the nine being single right now and in isolation knowing what your wish fulfillment is your happiness and joy that goes to the ten of cups because we got love right there wow to be very balanced six is about balance so we got five six change will bring balance and love i feel for you sag Okay, so let's see what this wake up call is and reevaluate your priorities. Wow. All right. So if this, you know, this is about what's going in your life on in your life, and this part can be about love again or other things. So if it's not um, a love situation, it could be something with friends or family or coworkers where, you know, maybe you need. You know, we're all on a break from everybody right now, but maybe you know, once we get back to the swing of things. Um, there'll be more um, truth, clarity, more in the energy of being in control and in charge and standing up for yourself, having truth and clarity, being strong, which will lead to better outcome all the way around for you in your life, I feel. All right. So some of you could actually be going through a divorce or just something legal matters, which I kind of in a pause at standstill right now. But I feel that, you know, if once life gets back to normal, if you're dealing with something, if it's not divorce or something else in the legal field, um, things will go in your favor, especially with the Nine and Ten of Cups. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. So see what this wake-up call is. So we have the Four of Cups, so that's feeling uh, blo bored, blah, complacent in life in general, love, life, whatever. Uh, missed opportunity kind of energy, and missed star. So divinely guided energy for you faith hope optimism healing energy wishes and dreams coming true so you could have had a, a very divinely guided wake-up call here about a missed opportunity in love but now it's time to reevaluate. i think maybe that <laughs> that offer that was made to you because it was divinely guided something meant for you and now i feel like you're just realizing that like you've had a wake-up call like the universe gave you a wake-up call to one so being at a crossroads needing to make a decision what to do what path do i go on what do i do now ace of wands so he has a fiery passionate new beginning exciting um that is you know phallic kind of energy so this could lead to a very fiery passionate new beginning exciting um or something creative a new endeavor a project business entrepreneurship kind of energy page of swords so you could be learning something online here uh education online or learning on something online or looking things up online or spying on somebody on online or it could be open up honest truthful communication between you and somebody here the page of swords all right what else here for sag this priorities whoops the tower again here's that wake-up call <laughs> so spirit confirming that Here's the wake-up call with the tower. Tower is a wake-up call, epiphany, aha moment, a surprise, a shake-up, breakdown, explosion, uh, any something here. Something gave you an aha moment, epiphany. Could have been something you received download, you received messages, you received uh, signs, symbols, songs, numbers, names, I don't know, something from the universe. Uh, either about a missed opportunity and it just gave you like this wake up call here. Or you could have like extreme passion for somebody also too, especially with Ace of Wands there. And <laughs> you see the sirens going around. <laughs> Red hot alarm, woo, okay. Anything else for Sag? 
Anything else for Sag? Eight of Pentacles. So working on yourself. I feel like here, I felt that energy. Some of you could be working on your career, your finances, uh, bettering yourself, learning something new. All right, what else was Sag here? So, well, and I said that, Six of Cups energy with strength here, that you could have had many past lives with this person. The Six of Cups is past life energy. It's soulmate energy, uh, nostalgia, looking back on your past, your childhood um, here. So, wow. For someone you've been with for a very long time. So you do have soulmate energy there but you're indecisive not really uh wanting to make a decision here blocking your heart very indecisive the moon not clear on the future how things would go um can be secretive energy so maybe you're being very secretive um not seeing the path clearly but look at this we have the star again sag something divinely guided for you is trying to wake you up to tell you this missed opportunity was something meant for you with the star to have faith, hope, optimism, heal. I think you need to heal so you can have your wish, your dream come true, to remain positive. But you're stuck in your head with the Eight of Swords. Energy here, Sag. Yeah, because now we have temperance, which is your energy. So stuck in your head and your thoughts, mental entrapment of your own doing. But temperance here brings in what's divinely guided for you. What's, what it's meant for you, this angel brings in for you with the temperance energy. And it's about patience, it's about healing, it's about balance kind of energy. Because we do have here soulmate union, the two of cups, soulmate union. But you may be thinking too much, evaluating, assessing a situation, whether or not to invest, should I invest, should I keep investing, whatever here, assessing and evaluating, and analyzing too much. Because this could lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, stability for the long term, growth, abundance, uh, family, legacy, dynamic. But I feel like you've been through the ringer with something here with the Nine of Wands energy. <sighs> so, you know, just take things slowly. Or, you know, communicate to this person, I want to take this very slowly. The Knight of Pentacles energy. So, a lot of energy for you, Sag, here. But very indecisive. But something is trying to give you a wake-up call, Sag. And I feel like it's a very divinely guided connection for you. And I, I think I've been getting this in like all your readings. It's like just coming up and coming up over and over and over and over. So unless you do something about a Sag, you're going to get the same readings over and over for most of you that resonate with this. Okay, Sag, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.